Hello everyone, welcome back to our Wix event series and today we are going to be editing the bookings pages in our Wix event site, which are very essential pages. There are actually three events pages we need to work on and we're going to work on them one by one. So the first one we'll be working on a day will be our schedule page. So in order to access it, we're going to go to the pages and menu button. Click on event pages and we're going to work on the schedule page first. So let's click on it for the Wix editor to load it up. So here we are. Click on it and click on manage event. A new window will appear. So as you can see, we still don't have any published events. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to create an event or add an event. So to do that, click on add event over here. So now we're going to see this on our window. So here you can choose your event type. Is it a ticketed event or an RSVP event? So for ticketed event, offer paid or free tickets, set currency and tax, and it's perfect for classes, workshops, conferences. While the RSVP event, collect RSVPs, set a wait list, and it's perfect for weddings, private events, and parties. So just select an event type. In my case, I'm going to select ticketed event. Let's move on. Now we're going to work on our events general info, starting with the event name. Next, input your short teaser over here. This is optional, but adding a short teaser would also give your event more information for your visitors. So add a few words under the name of the event to inspire guests. So you also have event categories here. In case you have several events, you can actually arrange them into categories for, for convenience of your users. Anyway, we only have one event uh, that we're creating now, so we're not going to add a category. But in case you'd like to learn how to do it, just click on Add Categories, Create Category, insert the name of your category over here, click on the check button, and click on Confirm. This specific event will be added to that specific category you created. If you'd like to manage your categories, just click on Manage Categories. Let's move on and set the date and time of our event. By the way, you have to indicate whether it's a single event, a recurring event, or to be decided. In my case, it's going to be a single event. And we're going to set it up, um, for example, maybe at least one month from the day. So I'm going to choose November 30th, 2024. Our starting time should be about, let's say, 6 a.m. And it's also going to end on the same day, November 30th, around 6 p.m. All right, so now you're going to have to choose your time zone. So feel free to choose your time zone over here. And then for the display, you have the option to toggle these on or off depending on your preferences. So you can either show or hide event um, end date and time. And you can also show time zone if you want to. Just basically tick the checkbox over here to activate it. Okay, let's talk about the location of our event. So please indicate whether it's a physical location, an online location, or to be decided. In our case, it's going to be a physical location. So I'm just going to input a random address over here for demonstration purposes. Okay. 
Now you also have to indicate your venue name. This is optional, but including this would be very informative for your site users or visitors. So make sure to input that here. Now let's talk about the um, description of our event. So about the event. If you're going to have a hard time writing your content over here, you can um, ask the help of Wix's AI to assist you in creating a text content. All you have to do is just click on this Create with AI button. Next, use the field over here to describe what text you want to create. And you can also select what you already wrote and ask the AI to tweak it if you want. So go ahead and use that in case you're having a hard time creating a description for your event. So let me just quickly do this part over here. Okay, so I'm just going to review our event. Oh, and actually we forgot to put an image here. Adding an image would also help it become um, or look good. So I'm going to click on the plus button and I'm going to select an image from my uploaded media onto Wix. If you haven't uploaded your media files to Wix yet, click on upload media and go ahead and use it. So I'm going to use this image, for example, and click on add to page. So this will be over here. Okay, so before you actually save it, please go over your entire event details and review them just to make sure that every information you put there would be accurate. And once you're done, click on Create Draft. And a draft will be created. You're also going to be routed back to this page or your dashboard window. Okay, so this event hasn't actually been uploaded or published yet. That's because we still need to create tickets. So in order for us to start creating a ticket, we are going to click on create tickets over here. So now we're going to input our ticket name. We're going to input our description here as well. Next, we're going to select our pricing method. So you have four options to choose from. Fixed price, price options, pay what you want, and free. In our case, we're going to click on or select fixed price. Now for the ticket price, we are going to um, set it over here. So input, so choose your desired currency. and input the um, amount over here. Scroll down and we're going to continue working. Now we're on our ticket service fee. So we charge a ticket service fee for each ticket sold. Choose who pays the ticket service fee. Would it be you or would it be part of the uh, price you've set over here? So feel free to choose that. You'll actually see a breakdown of that over here. Next, for the ticket quantity, is it unlimited or limited? And if it is limited, indicate the quantity available. Next, for the ticket policy, it's very important that you let your customers or um, users know your ticket policy. So make sure to input that here. Let's move on to advanced settings. This is optional. Um, in case you'd like to set a ticket sale period, you can simply toggle this button on and indicate when the ticket sale starts and when the ticket sale ends. So in our case, our ticket sale starts now, for example, and our ticket sale would end at maybe let's say November 29. Okay, and you can also decide whether or not to hide tickets from the event details page when they are not on sale. So I'm going to activate this so that whenever they're not on sale, they're not going to show up. Okay, so make sure to review everything. Make sure that everything is correct. And by the way, you can actually preview what your ticket looks like by clicking on this preview button here. 
uh, but you have to save your progress first. And in case you'd like to edit your ticket's design, you can click on this button and click on Edit Ticket Design, but make sure to save the changes first. In our case, I think we're all good. So we're going to click on Create Ticket now, and our ticket should be created. We are going to talk about adding payment methods in other videos, so don't miss that as well so that whenever someone purchases a ticket from us, our transactions would go successful. Anyway, we're gonna go to drafts now because our event was only created as a draft and in order to publish it, you can um, hover on top of it and click on this rocket button here or the publish button. And this event should be published. Okay, so now we're good. We, we can now close this window. That should be it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you need more Wix tutorials, check out our channel and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.